Let's show you how to hook up a Power Automate flow to your Copilot within Copilot Studio right now. You are wanting your Copilot to do much more than just some basic text or connect to your database in some way, which you likely are, then you are going to need to use some sort of Power Automate flow. And it's really important that you understand how to set these up correctly. Now, thankfully, I don't think it is that tricky if you understand Power Automate flows at least a little bit. But in our scenario, we have a coffee copilot and our coffee copilot is used to create an intake orders and submit those orders to our baristas. So in our scenario, we have an order coffee topic and We've already configured gathering the inputs necessary. Now we just need to create our flow, rather trigger our flow from our copilot. So right here, this is kind of a confirmation message of sorts. We're saying one moment as we get your small, light or medium roast coffee. And now we need to create a power automate or connect this to a power automate flow. So if you click on the plus button to add a new conversation node and go down to call in action, you're going to see a ton of basic actions. And this is actually going to show all of the power automate flows that are able to be triggered by copilot already in your system. So before this video, I went ahead and already created one. But if you are wanting to create a new one, go ahead and select create flow. This is going to bring you directly to the power automate maker and give you the starting trigger and the final action that you need. And then you can add all of your actions as necessary here in the middle to do everything you needed to do. But like I said, I have already built out the flow that we need. And that is our submit coffee order flow. When I click on this, you can see that it is saying, Hey, we have two inputs and we have two outputs. Now, the reason for that is if I flip over to our power automate flow and I click on our trigger, you can see that I have added two different inputs and that is coffee size and coffee type. That is what our business has defined that we need in order to create a coffee, right? And now with that, we create the order. We calculate an estimated wait time that we can send back in the chat. And then we have our final return values. Now, here, the reason why there's two outputs is because again, I've gone into this action and added the outputs. Now, these, you know, fairly self explanatory, I'm assuming you understand what inputs and outputs are of power automate flows. But that is what is defining these inputs and these outputs. It is not, you know, automatic, it's defined by the power automate flow itself. Now, here, you can see we can have it select a value if I click this, this is going to show all of the variables within our copilot or within this topic. You can also use PowerFX to create a formula for this input as necessary. So maybe it needs to be text, you know, you could just go over here and say text. And that is what is going to be submitted as the coffee size. But that is not what we want. What we want is for this to be set to the corresponding variables that we capture within our copilot. Now, you can see here that we are returning then the order number and a wait time. And I've already kind of defined the syntax and stuff like this in our power automate flow, but we want to then send some sort of, you know, order confirmation message. So if I go ahead and click send a new message, let me go ahead and create this node. Now you can see this message will just say, Hey, here's your order confirmation and spit out their order number as well as an estimated wait time. And now, you know, because we have created these order number and wait time variables within our copilot, we can refer to them throughout the copilot experience after this action within our topic. So if I go ahead and save this here and let's say, Hey, I want to order a small light roast coffee. I have typed in the prompt. I'm going to go ahead and submit it. Here is our pre flow confirmation message saying, Hey, small light roast. This is what your order is. And then here is our order confirmation number with our order number and our estimated wait time is two minutes. Now, if I go to our power automate flow and look at the run itself, five seconds ago, you can see that this is kind of 
you know, neither here nor there, but how I'm defining those inputs and what I'm passing back is the this, you know, order number colon this and then a random number followed by the word minute. So that's being defined by my flow. You know, obviously follow best practices as you're defining passing these input variables and output variables back and forth, but that is how you can utilize Power Automate within your Copilot Studio. Now, if you are wondering how I am gathering inputs without having question nodes in my topic, you are gonna wanna check out this video right here because what we need to use are what are called topic inputs and this video covers everything you need to know about topic inputs. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of the Citizen Developer channel. I'm excited to connect with you in the next one.